guys, it's Doc's Market Minute for Tuesday, May 19th. What I'm looking at here is the ETF of the 20-year Treasury bonds, or the TLT. So this is a very popular instrument and is really sort of a proxy for the bond market. Now, there's two things happening here, which is very important. Now, when I look at price action, there's two main roles. First of all, the major time frames dominate the trend. And right now, if we look at the monthly chart, we can see that this trend is still working to the upside. Still working to the upside, and it's been in a major trend really since the, the financial crisis. I mean, you can look at this and see higher highs and higher lows all the way up here. And really, that has accelerated since the 2011 time frame when we had all that scare around Europe and, and everything else like that. We've had some very strong higher highs and some pretty deep higher lows, but still a strong trend here in the, tre in the treasuries. So this is still moving higher, but what we're starting to see is some pretty sustained weakness here, a strong pullback. Now this is not yet a bear market. What would have to happen is this would have to reach up at some point to a lower high and then roll over, and then we have our change in polarity, and then really... Typically, when we have a lower high sitting up on the monthly chart, we have a strong bear market, strong correction that we can expect, and this would be, you know, somewhere down here. Now, this could happen if the market starts to really sense that interest rates are going to rise. But I don't want to get ahead of myself here. I just want to illustrate the fact that the larger time frames control the trend. Okay, so that's point number one. Point number two is reversals happen from the inside out. So if we look at things like the daily chart, the daily chart is showing that we've been in this strong downtrend now for quite some time. And in fact, that's even spilled over or propagated up to the weekly chart. The weekly chart is showing the same thing. It's showing a, this was a higher low, but a lower high. And when these lower highs set up out of nowhere, I mean, everybody's expecting this to keep going higher, right? And then when this sets up and prints a lower high and then confirms that with a lower low, now we have a change in polarity to a downtrend on the weekly chart. So that's pretty significant, and it's enough to get people worked up about this thing. But the main thing that we would want to look for is that lower high setting up on the monthly chart, and then we're going to have some serious downside action. So here's the thing. The way to play this is at some point, Right now, everybody's going to be seeing this and starting to short this market, and I believe that they're going to be wrong because it's too too late in the in the move. It's really too late in the move. You have to be positioned for these bearish moves up at the top, down not down at the bottom. So what happens is when the overall trend kicks into gear again, again, the overall trend is still to the upside. What happens is all the people that went short late in the move down here all of a sudden have to cover, and we'll see a strong rally from here, but then the question is whether or not this rally from here will set up as a lower high. And if it sets up as a lower high in that monthly chart, then we're going to see some serious movement to the downside. So a shorter term opportunity, back up to the upside, longer term opportunity might be the bearish move back down again. So that's today's Market Minute. Thanks for listening, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.